Uh-oh. Boxes! They have returned! And they are bringing me gifts. Robo's here! Are we gonna build another computer today? We need to gut these boxes like we gut our enemy. With Bayonet, Charlie the Tiger Tooth. The old editing rig is turning five years old. So I think it deserves to be ripped apart by my AMD Threadripper. 16 cores. Oh yeah, baby. I've bought a lot of uh, crimps cramps, some RGB cancer, fans, rams with lights on them, some helium drives that will make you sound like a little girl, and lots of NVMe drives. Where will we fit all of this hardware and mad science? Inside of a cube, of course! Oh yeah, I'm a proud Papa Robert, I have adopted a tech boy! Yeah! <laughs> Look at it. We need to do some plastic surgery. That grill has to go. Ugh, my boy has to look good. I ordered a third party grill. Because hey, we need them grill marks, man. The grill fans can actually spin inside of its frame. What? Measure everything up before you start cutting. I should probably have cut my nails. Look at those nails. I'm a swimmer! We're cutting this with a rotary tool and a metal disc. I could probably have used the jigsaw, but if it snags, I could get a dent in my sheet. So, the aluminium was actually really hard. It was hard to cut and steal. So, I had to bring out the big gun, the big Dremel, the big boy. Full power. I never had a noise complaint. <laughs> oh yeah. Just let your Dremel do the, cu the cutting. You don't need to push it or anything. Just be gentle. And everything will be alright. Don't worry. Just do it. You pussy. Oh yeah, baby. You really get on there. Oh, oh it looks so good. Mm. Totally worth the time. And the sweat and the tears. And the noise complaints. We're also making a shroud for the power supply. So get some good measurements. We're making it in acrylic. Everyone should have this at home. So handy. I'm using a metal blade. It got fine teeth, so... As long as you find something with fine teeth, use that. When cutting acrylic, have a high speed, otherwise the acrylic can melt. Also, don't use a permanent marker. I did it once in the past, and the acrylic melted for some reason. Oh yeah. Oh! Rip me apart! Ah. This is acrylic cement. So go open your windows. It's not good if you... If you, you know, inhale this. Oh dude, it smells wonderful! <laughs> oh my god! This is good! This is good! Don't smell it. I used two old power supplies to hold my acrylic while the glue was setting. Looks really good. Just hit it with some semi-gloss paint. And oh yeah, look at those results, man! Should probably, you know, brush it off before you paint, but it's it's okay. It's time to prep the motherboard. I'm using a gigabyte one. RGB, lots of RGB. RGB makes your computer 10% quicklier. AMD gladly sent a Threadripper my way. The 1950X. It's the only sponsored part of this video. And look at that tick boy. 16 cores of power! It's really hard to fuck this up. Just follow the instructions. There's even instructions on the socket itself. The CPU itself slides into a rail. And it's apparent. Look how shiny it is underneath. <laughs> Just slowly put it down. Don't fuck the pins up. Follow those instructions again until you hear this. On all the screws and you're done! You probably haven't fucked anything up. Good job! If you really want to try your luck, do custom water cooling! Man, I was so nervous <laughs> doing this. Like, oh, this is so expensive and I'm gonna leak water all over it. I already know what you fucking professionals are going to say. That's too much thermal paste, Robert! What are you doing? Fuck you! That We, could, we should have used even more thermal paste. You want a lot of thermal paste on this processor. 
It's so clean and nice. Oh, why didn't I do water cooling before? Oh yeah, because it's scary. <laughs> you want to hand tighten the nipples? <laughs> oh yeah, do it. Ram those ram into place. Oh yeah, be rough. They're gonna do some overclocking later, so give them a little pat on the back. It already looks so good, I just wanna lick it! Mm. I'm gonna take this plastic off as well, and get out of here. This is the first time I ever used M M NVMe drives. I've used M2s before, but they are hidden a little bit all over the motherboard. Even they even hid the batteries underneath one. Oh my god, look at you! <laughs> You're so tiny! That's a one terabyte disk, by the way, SSD. There's even an NVMe drive hidden underneath the south bridge. Don't know how that will impact cooling though, but it'll do, it'll do. I'm happy with it. It's a cool place to put it. No cables, it's it's worth it. We need a big radiator for this processor. Oh, that's the wrong one. Get it out of here. There we go, yes. Ha, you're joking. Here it is. The 420 giant radiator. Look at that. Holy shit, no regrets. Screwing all the fans into place. One of the fans will also hold the the pump. The pump holder. Woo wee, it's shook color in here. Mm. The pump has a lot of plastic in it, so don't over tighten. Be careful with this, those threads. Don't break the rubber rings. Relax. Squeeze that radiator in. Don't let it get away. It's, it's, tr it's trying to struggle. I decided to drop in all of the water cooling parts, including in the the water cooling block, just so I know how long the tubes has to be. And you know what? I'm a YouTube professional. <laughs> the fucking tubes were so hard to get in. You can see all the flexing and stuff. Damn, it was hard. I used a lot of force. I don't know if that was good or bad, but hey, it worked. It worked. If it works, it's okay. It's not stupid if it works. All right. I'm measuring my tubes using feet, palms, and my eyes. You know that fucking imperial measurements? Damn, it works for the Americans. It's gonna work for me as well then, right? Once your tubing is done, you, you just wanna plug in the pump, all right? And fill your loop up with the finest Danish tears. Only the finest Danish tears will cool your CPU efficiently enough, all right? Just slurp those those tears up. Keep filling the pump and reservoir as you go, especially if you have a water lubricated pump like I have. My computer drank about, give or take, a liter and a half of Danish tears. Pretty impressive. I usually only drink a liter a day myself. Once you have enough, it will be able to loop by itself. Look at that. Oh my god, it's turning into semen! Oh my god! Look and listen for leaks. It sounds amazing though. I can't find any leaks. I have managed to pull this through. I am professional. Just let it run for a little while, an hour or two, and the bubbles will start sorting themselves out. Perhaps shake the case a little. This might come as a shock to you, but hell, hell is a real place. There's two types of people that go to hell. Those who make a shit cable management, and the Danish. <laughs> they are born evil. We need to send them back where they belong. With the water cooling finished, we do, we do, you know, we need to do more important stuff. Like RGB, man. Some of that cancer light, man. Oh yeah. We're using this thingamajigic, all right, a fan controller and the light controller. You can also use a dirty saucepan to hold all your screws. It's smart, and I'm smart. Do it. You know, there's something that really grinds my gears, and it's the fucking fan screws always being assholes, you know. Why do they love stripping their heads so much? Why? Come on! It already looks a lot better with the fans installed. Really happy with it, really happy. So Lee and Lee is actually quite high quality. 
but it shipped the sign. Why is the hard drive cage squeezing my 24 pin? The hard drive slides in a little rubber wheels. I didn't really, really like these drives. They are really loud and they are clicking. Even my enterprise discs are silent compared to this. Fuck me, even Samsung spin points while they are dying is more silent than these. Oh, got a new grilling, baby. Look at that. Looking good. <laughs> we can orient the rings however we want. Which is, you know, you can make it look differently if you wanted to. I'm planning on gaming, streaming, and editing as much as possible from one single computer. So we're getting a big boy graphics card as well. A graphics card is only good if it's big enough to kill someone with. It's like a fucking brick! Oh man, even Robert, Robert in real life is creaming his pants. <laughs> the shroud of the graphics card was actually hitting the south bridge. Which was really weird. I was trying to. I had to use a lot of force to push this thing in. So, I have plugged in all that RGB cancer, and oh shit, I did a poor cable management. I'll see you in hell, you Danish fucks. I'm coming for you. So it's time to play with the cancer sh slips. All right. It's, wait, it's called slips. Strips. I'm tucking in all of the LEDs around the front of my case, so it, it looks a little bit more uniform. I regret my life. I regret everything. What have I made? A fucking disco traffic light. I stole that one from Twitter, by the way. Holy shit. How can we save this? I've always been a fan of the the bright light and holy moly it's looking good look at that look how clean it is holy shit it's beautiful i'm gonna look at it right now in real life oh it's fucking amazing <laughs> after such a long fight against the rgb cancer i celebrated with some palt i probably gave some of you cancer just from the brief Pictures of RGB? I'm sorry. Not. Clean up your leftover screws, your parts, and all of the thingies you didn't use. Could be useful in the future, especially screws. They haven't changed in a hundred years, it feels like. I managed to be rather stable at 4.2, but you know, you don't really want to go over 1.5 volt now, do you? It was a little spicy, so cranked it down back to 4.1, 1.38 volt, C completely doable, completely doable. Like 70 degrees peaks in Ada. It's okay, it's okay. Little beast, chop chop, hurry up, little boy. <laughs> I know it's not fair pitting a 6 core from 2013 with a 16 core from 2017, but hey. <laughs> it's adorable. It's a little adorable. We're gonna have an apartment video probably next week sometime, but hey. Threadripper is gonna replace the little beast down here. We're doing some backups right now, but hey, soon it will have all of these monitors to tingle around with. <laughs> the little cube has the lead sprokes in it, so it's all dark. <laughs> no. It's so sad. We're gonna fix that as well. Very well. Like a favorite this shit. Cream your pants today. I sure did. 